Good morning, everyone. This is Lola Wrist with Flick of the Wrist, which is my business name on Facebook, but actually my website is lolawrist.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I am trying to get this pulled up. So give me a second to get it on my, there it is, and we'll be ready to go. So if you hear some clicking going on in the background, just know that my husband is in salsa mode, AKA pool boy. And he is AKA pool boy. Yeah, and let me get my volume he down. Is, he is um, making salsa. You know, when you get going on salsa, it takes a lot, a lot of cutting. So luckily for me, the onions are gone, so I don't have to deal with that on top. So anyhow, I wanted to share with you the card that I had done on um, the Tuesday night group page. Not all of you are on our group page, and I wanted to share that. But I want to do it up and do it different. And I want to show you another twist to this card to make it look different. So we're going to start with Poppy Parade. And we're going to use our color combos, or Poppy Parade, black and white. But we're going with the Christmas Scotty. But this isn't going to be a Christmas card. This is going to be, um, I needed a card for uh, my speech therapist. And I needed to uh, have something that I could send to her. And I just wanted her to know I'm missing her. So anyhow... That's where we're starting. So I have all of the measurements written as a PDF and it is online on my blog, lolarist.com. And um, you can find it under this picture, this posting with this Halloween picture. But um, if you can't locate it, just send me an email or make a message, a comment here in the um the comment section and I will, I will send you an email of it. So anyhow, we're gonna go on ahead and start with this piece and I'm not, like I said, going to give you the measurements, but this is going to be a piece of card that was actually on this one, I will show you this much. It is one, two, three, four, five, six and three fourths six and three fourths by five and a fourth and I cut it in that little strip off and I still scored it at four and a quarter. I'm gonna go on ahead and put my black piece in, which I like, I like tight mats. Um, I just think they have a, have a nicer elegant look to them. So I'm gonna go on ahead and put this one down and this is five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And then my white one, I'm gonna post here in a little bit and put on there, okay? All right, so let's talk about the Scotty. I want my Scotty to be pretty bold and dark. So I'm gonna use my Stamparatus to get it a darker image as I can on it. So give me a second to get this all in position. Okay, and I'm gonna go on ahead and put this on here and put my magnet on to hold it. And I'm gonna take the stamp, and where is it? Hmm. There they are. I'm gonna take the Scotty stamp the one that coordinates with the punch, and I'm gonna use it on the Stamparatus. And I'm gonna lay it up here, but I'm gonna flip it, and there I will explain why when I go to punch it, you'll see, okay? All right, I need to go on ahead and put my hinge down. I'm gonna come over here. Load it up. Okay. 
And now I'm gonna go on ahead and put my ink on here. Good morning, Patricia. I loved your card, Patricia, loved it. You did a great job on adapting your um, paper pumpkin to that. And I'm kind of working here. I told him already, Patricia, I am uh, sharing the kitchen with my husband. He is in salsa mode right now, baking salsa. So you'll hear him clicking away. And I don't have my pad under that. So I may have to make do and try another way to stamp this, but I'm gonna go with this. Good morning, Darla. So I wanted to get as dark of an image as I can, but I can't pull my paper and I have some spots in it. I'm gonna go on ahead and just slide a couple of pieces under. There is a mat that goes with it, but I left my mat in my craft room and I'm not gonna run down and pick it up. So I'm just gonna, there's always a way to work around it. So I'm just gonna put some paper under there, okay? And because I want that to be a good dark image for my Scotty, and I could have punched it out of black paper. If you are seeing the Scotty upside down, don't think that everything will be upside down. I just needed it that way because of how I'm gonna punch it. And as long as I have not moved that paper, I can ink up again and go right back over and we'll see how it works. See how it works. My only problem with photopolymer stamps is they will stick to the paper, but that's good. That's good. All right, so let me go on ahead and take this off and we'll move the Stamparatus out of the way. So what we're gonna do is the same fold that I did and um, Darla, you need to go on to the group page, stamp the one with Pam and I that we do our videos on on Tuesday nights or Wednesday nights, it seemed like this summer, and see Patricia's card that she did with a paper pumpkin kit and she adapted it. Okay, so I'm gonna go on ahead and because my punch I was going in this way. I knew I was gonna either have to trim it or flip it upside down. So that was the purpose of stamping it up so that I didn't have to trim. There's my Scotty. He is adorable. And while I've got this out, I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna punch off the little red piece for his collar. So I'm a punch person. I don't get rid of my punches very often, unless it's a set. Like if I have a stamp set that I need to get gone, it, it's gone. But if it's um, like, like the whales, when the whales is gone, the whale stamp set's gone, then the whale punch is gonna go because it's not gonna be of any use to me as well without. So I'm gonna go on ahead and stop with that much and let's go back to the actual card pieces, okay? So we went on ahead and we have this and we have the white piece, so let's stamp our white. And I am going to have this card open to the left, okay? So I wanna make sure that my image is gonna be covered in the middle and I want a little stamp that says, you are always loved. So let me put that in here with Poppy Parade. You are always loved. And then over to the side, I'm gonna use this. And put the woof woof which is actually kind of a play on words because she and I both know, you know, as we don't think of that as woof, as what a dog would say. We look at that and say, that's a kid that doesn't have their R's. They're gonna say woof. I'm, I'll look at the woof on the house. Look at the woof on the house. So, sorry, that was a little play on words there, but I wanted to put that in there. All right, I know this is gonna cover. So I'm gonna go on ahead and I can put this in. If you've not tried this fold, you, you need to give it a shot because it's really a fun little fold. 
and I'm going to show you another way that you can close it besides ribbon. Okay. All right. Now I have black for the mat here on this piece, and then I have paired that with the um, the Bright Designer Series 6x6 pad of paper, package of paper. I don't use that a lot. Um, it's not as cost effective for me when I'm doing classes. I can split it easy, but for me to do classes, I need the 12 by 12 and I can get by with less packets than I do if I had six by six. So there's that. And then, oh, okay. So I'm gonna ask you girls, tell me what you want me to do. Do you wanna use this? or the polka dot. And the reason I ask is I was originally going polka dot with the black gingham ribbon. So I don't know that I like that. So you tell me which one you want and I will use that paper accordingly. So tell me, plaid or polka dots? And then I will make my decision on the ribbon. Plaid or polka dots? So anyhow, um, Type it in for me so I know what you want me to do. So Jim makes a wonderful salsa. It's a very uh, unique one. It has, an, has a banana pepper in it, which if you don't have the banana pepper, it doesn't taste right at all. And then it we thicken it with cornstarch. And it is, yeah, it's just a really good one. So, okay, give me a second. My replies are coming but I gotta see all comments. So, Chris Howe's here. Good morning, Chris. So, plaid with Scotty's. Okay, plaid it is. So, I'm gonna lose the, use the ribbon. I'm gonna lose it. So, I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna come down and take this plaid piece. I'm gonna put it in here like so. Okay, now I'm going to take this piece here, and this one I had the half inch. Now I'm going to share it, I'm going to show you a different way. If you don't want to put it on the inside like I have done, I'm going to put it to the back. So you can also do it that way, so that the fold actually is here. So let's go on ahead and do that right now. I've seen them do it that way. I've seen them do it inside. I've seen it multiple ways. So I just want to make sure that that will cover there. Okay. So I'm going to have to close it a different way. Hello. Nice to have you with us from over at the UK. And it was, is it Zana? Did I say it right, Zana? Good morning, Tina. Patricia, be sure to go back and check on the, the group page too because um, Tina posted her picture. She was here at the house last night and showed me pictures from her paper pumpkin alternatives that she did. And they were really neat too. So it's just, a it was a beautiful set, guys. Probably the best one we've had. So let me go on ahead and put this here. So if you got to see us with the Halloween card, then you already know one way of closing it when that was with the ribbon. So this time, we and we could do this, what do you want? You want to you want to flip it to polka dots? Yes, Xana, all right. Do you want to do it with the polka dots or do you want to keep it plaid and plaid? Let me know your response and I'll wait on you. Um, that was probably the best paper pumpkin I think I've ever seen them put out, uh, in, including the envelopes. And I plan to cut one or two of those envelopes and make cards out of them. I immediately went on the first day that they came out when they post things and um, 
Okay, Patricia, yes. I don't know what yes, plaid, yes, polka dot. Is that what your yes is? Um, I kind of like the polka dots, guys, for the contrast. So let's do it. Yep. And they were didn't, they didn't even have any left over. They were already gone. So we lucked out. For those of us that got that paper pumpkin, we lucked out out. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop at this point and I'm going to show you another alternative that you can do with this card. So this was a perfect size tab for like the Scotty dog or the little um, Halloween hat. Um, it would be really cute with the little baby elephant. Wouldn't that make a pretty little cute little baby card? I really could use that for that. But you also can do a pretty floral card with it. And I literally just played and eyeballed. I did not have any rhyme or reason to it. So if you want measurements for a different way and you have a piece of paper, write this down. One, two, three, four, four and a half. Four and a half. And one, two, three, four and a quarter. So it's not a square. Four and a half by four and a quarter. And that's going to be my flipping piece. And then my mat is going to be three and seven eighths by four and an eighth. And then my next one is going to be three and three quarters by four. And I literally, how did I come to these measurements? I needed a piece of paper and it was in my packet and I pulled it out and I said, oh, there it is. So it was very scientific. So I'm gonna go on ahead and put this down and we're gonna, we're not gonna attach it. So I'm gonna show you how you can make it a very feminine card. Or you could do the same with any of that. Um, he's the man. DSP. Okay. All right. So I took and I have it scored again at the half inch. So let me put that down here like so. And now I'm going to put this on here. So it's going to be a bigger flap. I'm going to slide it in the very same way. And you have probably seen where people have been putting more of a larger flap than the smaller flap. Have you? And that's all I did was come up with this. And now I went and I tried to find an image that was big enough to go on here. So the Apple one from the um, Perfect Pears that's just started the promotion. I really like that Apple. And I'm gonna go on ahead and use that. And I will color it in with my blends. And um, there's a little banner that goes with it. I, laid, I lost my banner, it's here somewhere. Hmm. There's a real pretty banner that goes across with this. And as soon as I'm done, it will show up. But it's a nice little image that would fit right across here and you could put a greeting on it and you could put it across the center here over the apples you could put this up a little higher and put it under but all of a sudden you've taken this real cute little card and you've turned it into one that would work also for a more of a feminine fold and i will probably finish that and stick it out on my my blog just for a picture just to show okay let's go back to mr scotty so i'm going to keep the same idea concept and i'm going to use the velcro not velcro sorry <laughs> the vellum that i use for the um 
decorative circle that we used on the Halloween one. But I have to be very careful about where I put my adhesive because my Scotty dog has to cover that adhesive. And I think I'm in good shape. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put my Scotty dog on with some dimensionals. All right, we've got somebody here that is playing with my stuff. I had dimensionals. Oh, there. I'm going to put these here. And I will show you a completely different way of closing it. Okay? So there's my little puppy dog. And I don't want to just do the bow like that. I could, but we've got some images here, so let's use them. We've got some stamped images. So we have this bow right here. So let's stamp on top of it and get at least some color to add a little more dimension to that. And if I mess up, all I can go back and do it again and punch it. It just kind of gives a little more depth to that bow. And I'm gonna put that on with a little adhesive on my card. And cover up the collar right there. Okay, but since I have put this down, I could have done it with that ribbon and tied it over here to the side, but I'm going to try a little different process. So I took my punches. Again, I don't give her to my punches. Uh, certainly not a circle punch. And I am going to, I use one punch. This is a one inch punch. And then to get a tighter black, so it's like the same one-eighth edge around like my card is, I actually um, ran that through with a die from the dies of the layering circles. And I'm just going to type that word or put that word woof woof in here. Let's put it down, and then here's how I'm going to close this one. I'm going to put this on dimensional, and I'm going to keep my dimensional in the bottom section right down in here. So when I flip it, it's going down. I don't want it to be up high, and there's a reason why. So I'm going to put it there. I'm going to close it, and I'm just going to put this over here, like so. And there's my card, and you can open it up, and you can put it back down, and it lays flat, flatter than having to use the ribbon. Okay? So there's my card for today, and let's put some, we need some bling on it, because everything needs bling. That's right. I believe in bling. Jim said everything around here, you know, we have it. My all-time favorite story is that one of my Stampin' Sips, the girls, were they, they loved to bling. Oh, my gosh, are they blingers. And um, they just happened. My black lab always wanted to sit in the middle. She wanted to be right where everybody was. And so she was under the table. And she got up and was walking around later and we're laughing because she has a red rhinestone on her rumpus. I'm like, okay, which of you put rhinestones on my dog? Let's put a little one down here. Okay, guys. So there's another card. Same process as this one changed it up so now we didn't use the die or the ribbon 
And again, I'm gonna come back. Probably will change the base because I don't think I want black maps under there. So I'll probably change that paper, but I'm not gonna write a post on it. I'll just, I'll just throw the picture out there and show another alternate. But you can get a completely different look on that one too. So there's my card. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, my my um, online BOGO sale will go live on Monday. I will be back on Monday, and then I will post my online BOGO sale link, and um, we will be going to town. So, guys, have a wonderful Labor Day. Enjoy some time for you, and um, I wish you were here so you could taste gym salsa. But anyhow, Chris and Tina, you're just across town. You can come. So anyhow, Zana, nice to have you with us from the UK. Patricia, Darla, always a pleasure to have you girls with us too. Take care, God bless, and have a great Labor Day weekend. Bye-bye.